What's up, babes? It's Curly so Victoria. I'm back with another video. I don't know if you guys can see me. I'm trying to sit in a way that you guys can. The way I have the camera propped is like really. I'm hoping none of my like head is cut off from this video, but I was actually eating my veggie bowl from um, Tijuana Flats and. I'm getting a little full i'm at the end of it but i decided that i wanted to make a quick mukbang video because it's been a, a while since i've done a mukbang um if you knew the channel thanks for tuning in if you've already been subscribed thank you so much for coming back so this video is going to be about assumptions of Craylisa victoria so you know what i wasn't at the moment thinking about assumption video okay so the camera cut i hope you guys can see me so i was just eating my veggie bowl from tijuana flats and I wasn't thinking about making an assumption video right now, but you know, now is the perfect time while I am eating because I just had a negative comment on my page. And since it was a negative comment, obviously the comment was probably looking for some attention. So I'm gonna give the comment some attention. I'll call out the user's name as well because since you were bold enough to put it on my page, why don't we just address the topic? So. Kyria Barnes or however you state it posted on my page that I was basically just giving a overview of a couple outfits that I got from Ross you know just being me and showing y'all some clothing and her comment stated your personality is very defensive and condescending you seem like a very bitter person I don't know that's just the vibe I'm getting. Probably why you have zero engagement and no views. I am unsubscribing. My reply was, we are entitled to our own opinions. It's the positive comments that keep me going. There was nothing in your paragraph that made me money or lifted my spirit. I understand everyone don't understand analytics and statistical data, so I allow you to have your moment. But so you do know, my channel has grown very much lately in so many ways. I'm not going to give out any lessons today, but for future reference, if you don't have anything positive to say on someone's channel, keep it pushing. It costs zero dollars to unsubscribe. Be blessed. Now listen guys, I typically, I focus on my positive comments on my channel, but every now and again, it's like, no, let's address some of these comments that are being stated, these assumptions of myself. Now other times it's like, okay, that didn't do nothing for me nor you to make a negative comment. I get so much positivity on my channel that that's what keeps me going. So these negative comments here and there, or these observations here and there are not what keep me going but because i'm like i haven't done a mukbang in a while what will we be talking about if i did a mukbang i said let's talk about this so everyone is entitled to your own opinion you could think i'm the greatest person in the world you could think i'm the worst person in the world but i live in my body i have to deal with me every single day so I have to come to grips with, you know, who I am, what I embody, and things like that because Kralisa Victoria is going to be in Kralisa Victoria's body every day. Tomorrow, if God should spare my life to see tomorrow, I will be in my body tomorrow. And here's what I have to say to the comment. First of all, if you don't have anything, like I said, positive to say, just don't say it at all. There are so many videos on YouTube that I see, and the content might not be the type of content that I watch daily but I don't take the time to sit there and negatively comment all day long now you do have times where you might post your opinion of a topic and then other people will get on there and try to post their opinions under your comments and it's just like okay I just simply said like when the George Floyd was going on I would say justice for George Floyd and there would be people who were like justice for George Floyd no we need um we need the, the police officer freed from that people will make their own comments but typically on people's pages i don't sit here and put comments like oh your content was boring oh your content you seem this way you seem that way i normally don't do that on people's videos now if i see something like if i was to see a video of somebody bullying somebody and think that that's cool 
maybe I'll make an opinion about that. But it's only going to be for the simple fact that I know it's something that's being done that isn't right. Or if somebody um, is agreeing with domestic violence or something like that, I might make a comment like that's not the, you know, the, the way to go something. But I don't sit on people's pages and try to give them. It's not to me, her comment wasn't even constructive criticism. I think that it was just coming from a place of um like i woke up today i didn't do my motivation i didn't do my devotion something got in my cereal so i just want to get on your page to say something negative instead of something positive well newsflash honey i wake up in the morning i thank god for the life that he gave me i wake up in the morning and i listen to my motivation to get my day started i have literally like my mom passed away when i was young and um for me, I think that's one of the hardest things to ever overcome. I don't think you ever overcome it, to be quite frank. When I think about how God has really brought me out of a lot, it's just like, I could care less what a person thinks of me. Obviously, I would think that you would think the best of me, but I could care less because I know what God has brought me through and I know where he's taking me in her comment it says oh you appear to be bitter honey i'm not bitter i'm better you don't um you know like there's been so many days that are harder than others there's days where it's like you have to know that there is a higher power than yourself to get through those days um you have to understand that every day is a constant struggle every day is a constant fight every day is literally something new so if you think that your comment to call me bitter or to call me whatever is going to tear me down, you failed. Um, because in the end of the day, like I said, if it has not been for God, I don't know where I would be. So yeah, my personality is pretty blunt. Yeah, my personality is straight to the point. Some people could think that's mean. Some people could think that's condescending. When I meet people who are direct, blunt, don't sugarcoat anything, like literally brutally honest, I'm not offended by it because that's how I want somebody to literally be to me. I don't want you to sugarcoat anything. And then also, a lot of people are threatened by confidence. Find a person who's not confident, who's weak, who's all of these different things, you will somehow think that a confident person is boastful, it's condescending, is uh, bitter. You will think all of these things when you yourself is not confident. I've met a lot of strong women and instead of sitting there taking the path that's resistant of, oh, um, she's bitter, she's this, she's that, a lot of times I just look at it as a strong woman and I look at it as empowerment before I look at it as bitter. So I definitely thought that that was an interesting topic to bring forth. Now she did say she was unsubscribing, which is fine. Like I said, it's not gonna really do anything for me, um, whether you stay or you go. Obviously people who are subscribed to my channel, I tell you guys, thank you all the time for tuning in, tapping in, giving me your opinions and things like that. But I'm not going to hold you to watching my channel. You're either going to comment in my comments, like Debbie Green Faith, um, David, I have a recent subscriber named David, uh, Juan. Um, I see it, it's many of you who get on my page and y'all say positive things all the time. I thank you. And the list goes on. I, I can't think of every username at the top of my head or every person. But I'm just saying that I have more positivity on my channel than I do negative. And I thank God for the, the subscribers that I do have. So, I honestly thought that, you know, when I read her comment, this might be a per perfect time to do an assumption video, you know? You brought up a topic that was good to discuss. Why not speak on it? Like I said, I'm too blessed. I am too... God has brought me through too much to sit here and let somebody think that they can tear me down to a point of needing to be rebuilt. God has rebuilt me back up. He's given me wings. And I know, I know there's times where, you know, we all can 
we all can be led astray at some point from what we believe. You know, we can find ourselves wandering. But when I tell you, if it had not been for God in my life, I probably wouldn't be on this earth. There's, there's, I can't explain to you how much depression or suicide or anything that can cloud somebody's mind who don't feel kept. And I th tell God thank you often on how he has kept me through such tragedy. I've lost lots of people in my life from friends to family to different people. And sometimes it feels like you can't catch a break. And I know that we're not going to be on this earth forever. But it's still, it's still painful when you build bonds and you learn and get these relationships with people and then they leave. It, it's tough. It's really tough. And I think that's why I'm as tough as I am today because those struggles, those tragedies is what built me. They're what made me who I am today. Um, so, yeah, better. Better about what? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And if it weren't for that converse, uh, that comment, I'm not too sure what I have even, you know what I mean, really sat here and analyzed again how blessed I was today. I mean, I woke up this morning knowing that God put more air in my lungs to wake up and I was grateful. But that comment literally gave me an assumption video mukbang which phenomenal because i'll have this uploaded today so be careful what you say to people because in the end of the day you just might not know their struggle just because i don't get on my channel and i you don't see me emotional and you don't see me sitting here talking about every single thing that I'm going through in my personal life doesn't mean that I'm not going through things. So this video literally is for everyone to understand that don't speak on topics that you know nothing of and don't speak on people when you don't know what they're going through. Back in December to January, I had COVID. I was really sick. There was times where I prayed to God because I thought that I was going to die a couple times. Here I am. Spared me again. God continues to spare me. There's not a bitter bone in me when I know how far God has brought me. Am I vocal? Am I blunt? Am I transparent? Am I brutally honest? I am. Do I want to see people win? I do. Have I motivated and impacted many people in my life that are not even known to the camera? I have done many community service projects and things like that. They're not on the screen. So basically what I'm saying is we're entitled to our opinions, but sometimes it's just better to keep your opinion to yourself if it's not going to be for the edification of someone other. Um, I guess that's all I have to say. I didn't think I was going to be making this video, but she apparently gave me something. And the video that I posted, we were talking about clothing. So I'm not understanding how you're, how that could give you that inference. But even if you have that inference or you have any other negative thoughts about me, always feel free to unsubscribe. I'd rather you unsubscribe than for me to hear about it, sis or bro. So, if you were looking for attention, sis, you got it. But instead of me sitting here and chewing you out, I just used it to share my testimony. We're not the same. I had all of the sentences and paragraphs in the world to, to
to sit here and be condescending back to your comment. But I chose the high road. So long story short, go ahead and unsubscribe to my channel. Do us all a favor. And the other people who you choose to actually subscribe, the uh, that you push the subscribe button, because nobody forced your hand to push the subscribe button. Just make sure the next person that you might not like their stuff, their content, or anything like that, just unsubscribe before you sit there and get in the way of their day. Because in the end of the day, when you start yourself like on a positive note, on a positive day, when you wake up, make your bed, pray, listen to motivation, meditate, stuff like that, you start in a good spirit, in a good mood. When people start to interfere with your peace, that could really offset your day you know what I mean not to say that you're dwelling on it it's just if you live your life waking up being positive and then out of nowhere Satan tries to appear it just becomes that thing of like let me dodge this you know what I mean but it's almost like being prayed up like you're not, you know what I mean? You gotta be ready to ward off these spirits of negativity and all of this stuff. But you would just hope and you would just wish that the world and the day would just resume in peace and have a completely peaceful day. But I'm about to watch a TV show or something, kind of relax a little bit. I got some work to get done. I hope you guys enjoyed this assumption video of Curly's of Victoria. Um, slash mukbang and thank you miss barnes for giving me some content have a great day Later.